Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue with uh, genome assembly. Before we go to the next topic, let's look at what we have looked at the last uh, lecture. We have looked at the Hamiltonian path problem and we realized that finding a Hamiltonian path in a large graph is not a straightforward, particularly in a genome assembly problem, we have to deal with a million reads and for constructing graph for such a big uh, set of data is not a straightforward when we have to deal with a trillion pairwise comparison. The, another problem with Hamilton path problem is to have an efficient algorithm to check and elucidate Hamilton path or cycles. They belong to NP complete problem class, which are difficult to solve in efficient manner. Can we do better than the Hamilton path problem is the question which we have posed in the last lecture and we will continue with that today. We are going to introduce new kind of graphs called D green graphs. And we'll see how we can use deep green graphs for solving our problem. One of the major challenge, as we discussed, is how to find a scalable approach to assemble a genome from the reads. We have an approach, but not scalable. And the question we are asking, will it help to assign each gamer to an edge in the graph? And what will be each node be assigned? if we construct such a graph and that's where the deep brewing graph comes to our help here we can assign each k minus mer to a node and each k mer assigned to an edge as a weight or labels then how to construct a deep brewing graph what we'll do is we'll take all prefixes and suffixes of all k-mers and find out distinct prefixes and suffixes and construct a set of it which is our node set what about edge to construct the edge we'll connect two nodes a and b with a directed edge and weight or label as a k-mer if for that given k-mer the prefix is given by a and suffix is given by b it's straightforward let's look at example to construct g brewing graphs we'll go with the example three here first what we are going to do is we are going to generate a set of distinct prefix and suffix. So let's compute prefix and suffixes for this example. So prefix and suffixes for each mer we are going to compute. And these are k mer. So we have a a t prefix function application to this a t will gives us a a and a t as a suffix. Similarly, a t g we have a t and t g. G t a have a prefix being g t and t a as a suffix T A A as a T A and A T as a suffix T G T as a T G as a prefix and G T as a suffix now what we are going to do is we are going to look at all the prefix and suffix and find out a set of distinct prefixes and suffixes. 
so we'll start with a then we'll say a t then g t and what we'll do is we'll actually cancel here same here to find out and show that we are actually counting all distinct prefixes and suffixes together t a and t g hence i have five set of distinct prefixes and suffixes together hence my node sets has a five elements hence i have a a t g t t a and t g five nodes now as we i told you we will assign each element of the set as a node and i'll construct node a a node at node gt node ta node tg once i have this as we discussed earlier in deep brain graph we have to assign and draw or draw a directed edge between two nodes with k mers as a label if the k mer has a prefix k mer and the suffix k mer as their node okay so look at the at what is prefix here a and at is a so i will generate a edge between them similarly and assign this edge as a a a t now similarly for atg i will assign between at node and tg node and assign this a label at g gta so gta i have to assign another one from prefix to suffix gt taa so ta and a again this edge between t a and a i have tgt so tg being a prefix gt being suffix i have to assign another direct edge and i will give the label being tg hence i have a now de bruin graphs for this five kms let me write in a more formal way this is my graph fine now can we use de bruin graph to actually find a hamiltonian path or euler path in this slide we are going to introduce a new path called eulerian path and we will contrast it with hamiltonian path for example one i have a two graphs first one is overlap lab graph another one is de bruin graph let's look at what is the definition of eulerian graph the eulerian path a path in a graph that visits every edge of a graph exactly once is called eulerian path on other hand hamiltonian path is a path in a graph that visits each node of a graph exactly once so difference here is in eulerian path we travel each edge once while in hamiltonian path we travels each node exactly once and that's where we are going to use eulerian path let's also look at the graphs associated with both kind of formulation one formulation where nodes are k mers while in other formulation where prefixes and suffixes are nodes 
and the ages are drawn based on certain rules. Here, you can see that in a overlap graph, we have a nodes as a as a camera, while here in a overlapping graph, the age is R as a camera. And visually, it can be seen that the deep brewing graph is literally simple to handle compared to the overlap graph. Okay. Of course, larger graph, both are difficult to handle, but deep brewing graphs looks relatively simple. So can we actually use this particular graph to do genome assembly? Euler and path, a path in a graph that visits every edge of a graph exactly once is the Euler and path. There is another concept called cycle. What is Eulerian cycle? The Eulerian cycle is an Eulerian path in a graph that starts and ends on the same node. And what is Eulerian? Eulerian is a graph or a graph is called Eulerian if the graph contains an Eulerian cycle or path. Now question is all graph we construct have an Eulerian path or cycle. And that is where we are going to see the idea of deep brewing path. So let's look at this deep brewing path, for example, one. And we have realized that there is an indeed Eulerian path. I can visit each age once from node TA to TT and I get a path. So this is a, this has an Eulerian path. However, there is no cycle here. We will keep that thought for a while and first we will come back to the concept of Eulerian path and Euler theorem 